Hello, welcome back to Benus Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'm going to, going to take you through the creation of this uh, setup, basically allowing you to generate like uh, a lot of cylinders and then like uh, you modify it using procedural curve. Everything is uh, procedural and you can always change uh, the shapes and also you can make it growing. Seems like a uh, it kind of like a straightforward idea right you know that you know the fact that uh let's say a cylinder objects in blender a polygon cylinder can be modified easily using a curve modifier and then on top of that uh, you need a, some kind of curve underneath that's kind of deforming the cylinder so i have this for every single cylinder and every cylinder is all uh, procedural and I can actually change uh, the placement uh, and things like that very very easily it's all procedural uh, sometimes there's like a kind of like a gotcha like that that's when uh, I need to kind of select the the mesh and then kind of relink the modifier that's the only part that's not procedural but everything else uh, is pretty much procedural so let's make this from scratch file save as so this is like uh, what do you call it growing cylinder I probably have shown you like a similar technique in the past but uh, now it's actually getting much easier to create so we need to start with a cylinder just a single cylinder and then right away we are using bmesh viewer so a simple cylinder uh, perhaps it's a good idea to also have the wire being drawn and maybe we, we we are able to always control the radius top and bottom so that's no problem for the vertices let's make it 8 for now or 12 the height we can always control it later subdivision that's also can be controlled okay so we have our cylinder how about our curve for curve we also need we, we need we just need a line and we need a polyline viewer and just plug the line into the vertices and then we have our line but it needs to grow up so use the z-axis I'm gonna give this a color so we can see the difference uh, okay so that's uh, the red material and so the plan is to deform this guy using a curve modifier and then the curve should come from the curve and it, actually the modifier also needs to be pointing in the z-axis so you need to do that a little bit of manual work so now we can kind of like randomize the, the curve for example so that's pretty easy and straightforward you can change the shape of the cylinder a little bit now you, you can animate it using the height you can add subdivision as you need so that's a uh, pretty cool and pretty easy right now try doing it for many many cylinder objects so that shouldn't be too hard either uh, basically we have this matrix so we have this cylinder mesh cylinder polygon mesh and we have this curve they are separate uh, separated but connected by the modifier so this is the cool part right let's use a line the line grows in X and we just plug this into the matrix for both of the curve and the cylinder okay and then we just control the shape and things like that I don't know why this guy is smaller and then this but uh, maybe because of the modifier so if I just select um, let, let me go to the outliner basically 
we just actually turn off the curve we know there's a curve underneath select everything select this guy last because this guy have modifier control L connect the connect and link the modifier and yeah it seems to be working but uh, what's what's wrong here each and every modifier is linked into the, the same curve only the curve number one but we need like five different curve okay five different curve we need to take care of that first create a range integer plug into the seed so now we have five different curve but they're they are not being used properly or oh, maybe we need 10 how many do we need okay we need 10 see we need to keep the same number for all this curve and polygon in order for this to work easy right so now let's see let's see what's going on we need to do that again uh, we hide the curve select all the mesh with this guy last and link the modifier so now now it's working a little bit better right they are all still connected to the same curve so we need to find a way to automate the process so this need to be like for alpha 0 this should be alpha 0 alpha 1 should be beta 1 should be better too and link them one by one and we are actually good to go if we we are able to do that so that's actually pretty easy as well you basically just need to go use the object ID set right for each object get the modifier this modifier name curve actually we need probably it's good idea to get by the name uh, bp dot object modifiers okay get all the modifier so this is modifier name curve each one of this uh, cylinder have a modifier applied with name curve so we filter it out of course it's name curve in this case oh actually we don't need to filter it out don't worry about filtering it out for now just need to get need to set this modifier object currently it's all assigned uh, So basically the modifier, we need to set the object. Uh, what I mean is that whenever we change the, the curve, this is a BPY context object modifier curve object needs to be changed to match the curve basically. So the curve object needs to go there. So that's the idea basically. Um, and then we need to well, let's join this guy so if we check correctly now the cylinder see cylinder is named alpha right and the curve is named beta the naming is slightly funky uh, I mean it's gonna work for 10 objects um, if you want it to work for 100 objects something that's more than 10 you need to make sure uh, I mean because the naming of the viewer B mesh is always like a bit funky if I go more it's gonna start to uh, look weird let's make it 20 and hide the curve let's save this because I like uh, number four there one select everything and select everything and this guy and then control L link in the modifier that needs to be automated and updated you see it's starting to become weird because 
now alpha 0 is connected to beta 0 alpha 1 alpha 10 however is connected to beta so there's a like sorting issue here we need to take care of the sorting so luckily I have already I have a script made to fix this uh, where is it growing cylinder file open reason curve and deform okay file append curve and deform sorry about that let me let me check okay curve and deform we need there is a script over here that I need to grab So this is a script node light for sphere chalk. Just gonna paste it here. I'll just name it sort me py. This is a script node. So script node light. Just sort me and then create the, no the nodes. The way it works is that <clears throat> it's gonna grab this uh all this like all these alpha objects and by name and then I'm gonna be sorting it because we want it to be like zero one two three four five like it needs to be it needs to have some kind of digit like this so it's sorted properly anyhow so get the name of this object plug this into this guy and we have a sorted object here plug this into this guy and now everything works correctly now if we if we check alpha 0 is connected to beta 0 alpha 1 connected to beta 0 0 1 10 10 11 11 now everything is sorted properly so cool so now we can make it dense everything is procedural you can still control the, the spline make it like smooth smooth and nice you can control the radius you can twist it do whatever you like um, file save as so save this and then if you like uh, multiple grid and stuff so instead of line we, let's say you want some kind of grid I'm gonna show you one more time so we have to, uh, all these vertices coming in. I need to tidy this up a little bit. This is our line for the curve, and that's the matrix. Okay, we need to change the matrix, right? Control, oops, shift, hold, then and create a, <coughs> some kind of branching. I will be using a plane plug this in there so we have a grid list length get the length of the vertices plug this into this guy we don't need to have the same number of vertices there I think this is correct okay this is slightly more elaborate get rid of the curve select everything select number one master control L modifier refresh so if I'm doing this correctly we should still have everything working maybe slightly slightly wrong there I'm just checking the name and the connected curve. Seems like it's kind of working. I probably missed something. maybe the the random randomness okay random
okay that should be level one all right now now we are good you can have like a hundred of this uh, cylinder with all this uh, this different randomness you can even make a cylinder with different height this is like <clears throat> really really powerful when I think like uh, you can't possibly make this any simpler I mean you can sort of uh, make a single node that does everything but this is as clear as it gets you know so this is like 20 20 different cylinder each one of them being deformed by 20 different curve slightly randomized thanks to this guy and you can make it kind of growing oh growing okay make it growing you just use math here and multiply the value and that's that will do it and vertices cylinder that should work fine so I'll, I'll keep this you know this is the master whenever if you if you want to make it this like now we have 50 right turn off the curve select everything select the master control L modifier up, updates update it and then we have 50 different cylinder with all slightly random and this is actually the curve And be spine that's yeah I think I quite like this anyhow uh, yeah hopefully you find this useful and interesting <clears throat> let me let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye